Now, on our next story, mm -hmm. Van Mauzo, <laughs> finally speaks about how much of a challenge it is raising kids in a broken marriage. Mm. Now, you know, this couple, we really hoped would stay together for a while, but oh yeah. well, look at life. So anyway, months ago, Vera Sedika and her baby, Daddy Brown Mauzo, went their separate ways. Mm -hmm. Uh, the move came barely two years after the birth of their son. Now, we all know they have two children, two yeah. very beautiful babies. And Mauzo is up and speaking about his split. Mm. Now, Mauzo is the father of five, and he clearly is having issues um, co-parenting mm. with his baby mamas. So he says, um, I had never anticipated to have kids grow up without me or without me being around, mm -hmm. and it keeps happening. I always want to raise my kids with their mother. I'm not perfect, but when you get tired of each other, the separation happens. Yeah. The kids will not be complete. Both parents are very important in the life of children. Mm -hmm. In what seems like a message targeted to his ex, Mauzo hinted that he and Verasidika might not be co-parenting. Now, this is quite sad because I think we see this a lot uh, with very many families where you have kids and then something happens and your marriage is broken and can't find a way to co-parent. Um, it's really tough. I'm proud of Brown Mauzo for coming out and speaking about his problem mm -hmm. and not throwing hints all over social media. Um, I feel for him, honestly. I, I hope him and Vera Siddika find a way of co-parenting. Yeah because they have very beautiful babies and I hope that he gets access to his other children. Okay, I just feel like nobody ever sets out to be a baby daddy or a baby, baby mama. mama. You know, yeah. you just don't wake up and say, I just want to be a baby, baby mama. I just want to be <laughs> always complaining on the internet and asking for child support. Yeah. Nobody ever does that. It's just life and circumstances and we should be gracious to everyone who's going through that. But at the same time, I want to throw some shade. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like Brown Mauzo, if we're being all the way honest, is um, a bit of a of an attention seeker. If we're being he honest, is. you know, he is throughout the relationship with Versi especially when things were rocky between the two of them. Instead of addressing issues or saying exactly what they wanted to say to each other, he would come on social media and post subliminal messages. Yeah, it was always something he a quote. You know those deep deep quotes. You can tell they're targeted to somebody. <laughs> Exactly. It, it was a very, a lot of feminine energy. And we've been seeing that the rise of the sassy man culture. Yeah. And I feel he's just the embodiment of all, all of it. You know, <laughs> because if you have five children, one, two, three, four, five, five, and you're seeing how you, you've always wanted to raise children in a two-parent household, oh. but to, to me, a number five. Child number five. Yeah, but no. Do you know you're the common denominator <laughs> in all of this? As in, who are you going to blame? You can't say, because he says it's not always his fault. Him, deep down, he really wants um, a household with a mom and dad and children. Is, is he taking responsibility though? Mm -hmm. Is he trying mm -hmm. to help out? Is he trying to financially? That's the question. Part of the kids' life. Because mm -hmm. it takes a lot raising kids. You know? It does. Yeah, and sometimes people don't um, accord mothers the respect they deserve for raising kids, especially as a single parent. Mm. Raising kids is quite hard. True. So if Mauzo isn't pulling up his socks mm -hmm. and trying to be more financially and emotionally, physically available for his kids, I guess in him Tinder, we'll just wait for like number six, seven, eight, oh. nine, ten. <laughs> the story goes, I mean, we pray it works out. We're not witches. We're really praying that something works out for you. But please don't come to the internet and try to act like the victim. You know, yeah. all of a sudden saying that he, he doesn't have access. He, he wants to co-parent, but he cannot because they won't even let him, you know, um, try to see the kids through their speaker's brother or through the nanny. People are not witches. There's something you did. I mean, yeah. Is happening. Yeah. Of course, there has to be something he's done. Don't be a victim on the internet. <laughs> 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 what, what did you want us to do about that story? Surely, Brown Mozo. 